The physical locations are incredibly important for Game of Thrones. The characters are defined by the worlds in which they come. We all do love to go to Iceland. It's just beautiful. It's beautiful. Every day that sun comes up, it's a new gift to us, really. No matter how much visual effects may play a part in this, when you have a real location, then what you can imagine becomes more real. So the trick is working out where these playgrounds are going to be. Every year is nice to come back and then you read it and you go, oh my God, really? It just gives it a sense of reality, you know? To get that journey, that sense of them trekking across this landscape, we need to come to a landscape like it. We can't paint it in or film it in Belfast. The joy of my job is we get to come to these locations that are just, it's, it's extraordinary. As wonderful as Belfast is, you can't get the spectacular sweep of locations and vistas you get in Iceland and Belfast. You can't get the warm light, the different terrain and the vegetation that you get in Spain. Spain, I'm everywhere and it's amazing. Just, it's glorious. It kind of takes your breath away. You never feel like you're in a green screen world when you shoot, you never do. You're always at a real location. I remember when Chris showed me a picture from Iceland when I first came on the show, and I said, that's what we need to start doing. We need that bigger vistas, you know, that's what this show demands. Iceland's always been north of the wall since season two, and I think you'll find landscapes like this wouldn't have been imagined for map paintings unless we'd come. It's very challenging to shoot in Iceland. You know, it can be very cold and that's hard. Guys are pulling focus with their freezing fingers. I don't know how they do it. Light is the, the, the given. That's the non-changing thing. It'll always be less light in the winter here. You are on the set and waiting for the sun to rise. Once it rises, you only have about five hours to shoot. And so we just haul ass and try to shoot as fast as we can. I have something magical about turning up to set and then the light appears and you see what you're shooting in. This is gonna make the episode what it is. It's incredible and uh, I think to give North uh, that kind of wild quality, Iceland is the only place to be. When we left Spain last year, we weren't even sure that we were coming back because we weren't sure where the season was going. So it was quite exciting when the outlines came up that actually we were going to have to look for a lot of this stuff in Spain again. The great thing about Spain is that there's so many different looks within one country. It has, you know, from green lush land like this to Moorish architecture to other traditional architecture that we can get King's Landing here as well. So Spain as a country has a massive diversity of locations. Coming to this location, it could have been any number of countries. Something kind of ancient and epic about it. It's an amazing place to come. I really enjoy shooting in Spain. There's like locations that you almost can't believe are just here. They're so beautiful that you're like, oh, someone built this for the show. And it's not, this is just there. If you believe the worlds in which people are living and we're actually filming, you believe more about the stories and about the characters. It's just such a major factor in why this show has worked. And I'm stunned every time I, I come onto a new set. And each year we get spoiled and spoiled and spoiled. And I'm very, very, very lucky in what I get to do. And Spain makes it feel like a holiday. This is not a bad place to work, is it? <laughs> this is like amazing, an amazing way to spend a day of work. This is our third year shooting here. It gets better every year. And the locations just, I mean, you know, I live in New York City. This is, this is breathtaking.